J'actualise, autrement dit, la tradition avec euh, des matériaux anciens et avec aussi des matériaux nouveaux. Lots of red earth in Colorado and New Mexico. The little sand dollar is just a reminder of the earlier forms of the world in the other installations before the habitat was formed. des connaissances de la terre -mère. to the beginning of the world, in the darkness of the dark waters before things took shape. We have the potential life represented by the seashell, which is in form of the spiral. And of course, our, one of our themes for the show is the spiral, the continuity and the movement of life that the spiral gives. Natishkwata, c'est le mot que, une fois qu'on a décidé de notre idée de, de lieu commun, de common grounds, étant la terre, Dolores a dit, mais c'est vraiment le Natishkwata. Euh, ce qui veut dire, j'ai appris ça <rire> avec beaucoup de plaisir, c'est le lieu de rencontre, mais le lieu où nous venons, là où les autres viennent nous rencontrer. Alors, c'est qui qui est venu ce soir c'est vous, merci beaucoup <rire> d'être venu. C'est nous, deux artistes avec toutes nos, nos histoires ensemble. 
C'est la belle lune, euh, la nouvelle lune ce soir aussi. Et c'est le nord et le sud, le nord des forêts boréales, euh, du fleuve Saint-Laurent et des Grands Lacs, et le sud du plateau désertique euh, du Rio Grande euh, au Nouveau-Mexique. Alors nous sommes heureuses de partager euh, ce mouvement de rencontre euh, avec vous. And for that lake, a vulva of blue flesh beneath the broad back of the dry, red, freckled bone of land. I'll stay for the deer dances in the hill, for the buffalo's step, silent, an eighth of a beat above the sound, above the ground, of the drums, vigorous. Ringing. Ringing. Exact. Generations. Dear Dan, you were the only one I ever told, I think, of how I wept at Hamez, feeling my people are so lost. I remember telling you, he and I, you and I, were at San Juan Pueblo, leaving a dance. A turtle dance? I don't know now. It was winter during Christmas season, New Year's, or early January. The Pueblo was so quiet. The peace of the silent dust spread wide. The town so flat on the rise beneath the sky. Such earth so alive. Dance with the falcons and merciful rain. Hum with Venus setting at dusk. Chant, Chant for, for a time we will, will not fear. Sing, sing together in the, in the light fabric of day. Step, Step gently. gently. Heed the, the lapping receding tides. Don't sway. Glide. Step. Turn. Soothe. Stand with orchids in the wind. I thought the combination of poetry and music and, and the drumming was really quite beautiful and I'm very much enjoying the paintings around. Still continue to look at the ones. I see, there seem to be more than two artists actually on the walls. So it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful space and it was a real pleasure. Mind you that it, it is a combination of a, of a Western sensibility with the native experience which is Ray and I find that very beautiful. If you notice that her poems are very much rooted in her own home of Denver, Colorado and, and in the Southwest. C'est vraiment, vraiment la synthèse de sa présentation de tantôt où elle se représente avec la, la femme du ciel et les trois femmes, euh, les trois céréales nourricières de son peuple. Je trouve que c'est une très belle synthèse en utilisant des matériaux, de la nature. Euh, moi, j'adore ça. Non, je trouve, je trouve ça vraiment étonnant, comme c'est vrai que le, leurs deux styles, euh, moi je connaissais plutôt euh, Dolores, mais c'est impressionnant de voir deux artistes qui se rencontrent et qui s'interpellent qui comme ça, euh, mais c'est vraiment très beau. Euh. So what do you feel about this? It's uh... uh, belonging and this being cut off, the, the barbed wire. I like this. Who is the heron on the, on the, rib, on the, on the water? that holds the quietness that I desire. So it's like, we don't have that quietness, we need it. I read French, English and Spanish, so we're having fun tra translating uh, the th three, three, three languages, yes. <laughs> I like the message about the earth, I like that it really represents uh, uh, I 
guess, the uh, Amerindian culture. That I think we need to benefit from that, the message about getting close to the earth and feeling uh, a part of a, a family. And uh, maybe we'll start to take care of this planet. And <laughs>